everyone, my name is Amaryllis and welcome to my channel. So I'm back with another no makeup chat. I uploaded my first no makeup chat last week so I'll make sure to link that here um, so you can check that out and um, during that video I was just talking about uh, body image and how it relates to our worth and how we see ourselves. So the purpose of these chats is really just to be vulnerable and open. The reason behind the no makeup portion of it is because generally when I come on camera to record these videos, I'm always concerned about how I look, how I present myself, and you know, just always feeling the need for perfection to look a certain way, make sure my blemishes aren't showing, whatever it is. So today's no makeup chat is about why it's not too late. It's a little hard for me to really unravel this subject matter and really get into it because it's almost like there's so many things I want to say regarding this topic and it's intertwined with a lot of other things and you know it's just like how do I get on here and talk about it but I'm just gonna go for it why it's not too late for you why it's not too late for me why it's not too late for any of us who are sitting here wherever you are watching this video watching this talking head on the screen why it's not too late and when i'm talking about too late i'm talking about in regards to your life my life the things we want the things we desire the things we have dreamed of, the things we're dreaming of now, the things we're passionate about, the things we're hiding from, anything in our life that we have deemed as lost or dead or just never gonna happen, I want to dare to say today that it's not too late. And maybe that phrase, may sound cliche to some or maybe you've never heard it before and it's something new for you to hear if you need evidence on why it's not too late for you the way i see it is your very breath in this very moment is all the evidence you need to know that it is not too late for you it is not too late for you to accomplish what you want to accomplish it's not too late for you to get the things you want to get. It's not too late for you to write that book. It's not too late for you to become a designer. It's not too late for you to be a singer. Or it's not too late for you to repair a broken relationship. It's not too late for you to lose the weight that you want to lose or get healthy. It's not too late for you to buy that house. <laughs> it's, it's not too late for you to go back to school. It's not too late. The very breath in your lungs that you are inhaling and exhaling in this moment is legitimate evidence that there is more for you to do and that there's time for you to do it. Now, in the spirit of being vulnerable, part of my story that really inspired this video is about fertility and it's weird to talk about and it's kind of uncomfortable but that's why i'm on here i have a son and he's four years old and he is literally like the biggest blessing of my life i love him so much and i never knew or thought ever in my life that i could love somebody so much that it's just beyond words but i do and I'm so grateful for my son. After having my son, I did experience some medical complications. And since then, that was five years ago, because he's going to be five soon. Um, I have not been able to conceive again. And it's really been a sore spot for me. And it's taken a while for me to get to the point now where I'm just kind of content. And to be honest, it's been very painful to think about and to talk about. I'm aware that there are people who haven't been able to conceive at all. And like I said, I'm blessed 
to have a son. Um, but it's been my desire to have another child, a daughter, and for my son to have somebody to play with, just to bring another life into this world. Like, it's definitely been a dream of mine. I've literally had dreams about having a daughter, a little girl. And really, in the present day, like, because it hasn't happened, you know, five years later, <clears throat> I'm like, it's too hard to, it almost felt like it was too hard to keep hoping for it and thinking that it will come. And it was like easier for me to just settle in the fact that maybe it's not going to happen. You get that little ding every time somebody asks you, oh, when are you going to have another kid? Oh, when are you, you know, or oh, are you guys going to have another baby? Whatever it is, like you feel that little ding every time somebody asks that and it's easier and it's easier to just kind of push it aside and be content with the thought of it not happening than it is to keep holding on for hope. And I've thought to myself that, you know what, maybe it's just not going to happen. Maybe it's too late for me. The reason why I'm talking about this today is because today I received a reminder that it's not too late and that anything can happen. I was, you know, in my time of prayer and, you know, just like, I like to take time in the morning to just like spend time with Jesus and pray. And I was reminded that even the most painful things and the painful thoughts that we suppress and that we don't vocalize and maybe we don't even pray about because it hurts so much, he still hears those things and he knows the pain and he reminds us of who he is. Even in those painful things that we don't wanna talk about, he, lets, he let me know, he lets us know that I'm still here. And I know the desires of your heart. I know the things that you want and I can make them happen for you. And so I was led to a scripture in the book of Luke. And in verse nine, it says, and I say to you, ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Jesus is not inconvenienced by our request. And he loves to know how you feel and what you want. And there's a promise in here that says when you ask, you're going to get an answer. When you seek him, you're going to find him. And when you knock on the door, it's going to be open to you. And I know that for some of us, it may be hard to accept the fact that Jesus is still in the business of giving us the things that we want. Because like I said before, it's easier for us to just believe that it's not going to happen. But this is for me and whoever is listening. I just want us to challenge the status quo of our thinking and what we believe and the hopelessness that we feel because of the things that have not happened yet, that Jesus is still in the business of answering prayers and he is never inconvenienced by our persistence. And he will always guide us in the right direction the more we seek him. I feel like the more we seek him, the more he fine tunes our steps, our direction, our journey, and pivots us where we need to go. So today, I just really want you to know that it's not too late. Whatever it is that you want, that you desire, especially the things that seem so far beyond your control, I encourage you today to ask. You're going to find everything that you need when you turn to Jesus. Even the most painful thoughts, the most painful feelings, the worst disappointments, the lowest of lows, Jesus is there and he wants you to ask. And not only is he just there, but he wants to be there. He's not forced to be anywhere, but he wants to be there for you. And he wants to know the things that you want and you desire. He wants to talk to you about those things. So no matter what it is that you're dreaming of, that you want to do in this life, you know, you're an author who wants to write a book or 
you're a person who just wants a true friend or you have broken family relationships and you really want them to be repaired ask it's not too late that breath in this moment in those lungs is meant for you to ask with that being said i want to say i love you and i hope that wherever you are right now this message this video that it finds you and that you will receive the peace of god the peace that you need if there's any chaos in your life or just unsettling inside you i pray for the peace of god to just fill your heart and your life and that if anything this few minutes that we spent together you were able to find rest here until my next video i'll see you guys soon bye